We're here with Chris and Andrew Ewert, and they are going to tell us about their altered Priuses. Tell me what we got here. Well, basically what we did is we took a stock Toyota Prius, which already gets about 50 miles per gallon, and we added an extra battery pack here. And the idea here is that this extra battery pack allows us to get about 20 extra miles of pure electric mode. Uh, and, and as you can see here, there's a plug uh, which hooks up to a charger and then the charger charges the batteries while you're not using it. So the idea here is that this extra battery pack supplements the original Prius battery. The way, the way it works is that um, you plug in overnight, you charge up this battery pack, and then you can drive the first 15, 20, 30 miles, depends on the size of the battery, uh, just on electricity. Um, and so what that ends up doing, uh, on average, for most people only drive about 30 miles a day uh, on average. And so if you can cover the average uh, just with electricity, you can offset the majority of your gasoline usage. This is the original battery under here. This is the original Toyota battery. It's a nickel metal hydride battery. It has a range of about two miles. Um, and the reason why it's so small is that it's only designed to capture regenerative energy, meaning when you're braking or uh, when, when the engine is running in such a manner that it, it, it can actually charge the battery. It's only designed to have a small capacity because they're not designed to charge, uh, per se. Like, it's not, it's not designed to do what we're doing. What, we're, what we've done is we've added in a mechanism so that these two batteries can parallel. And when they parallel, this battery, our, our battery, will charge the original battery. And in doing so, we're able to use uh, the original battery kind of as a gateway to the car. This is uh, an aftermarket modification that we kind of did on the car. Um, it's, it's a display uh, that shows us information about the car, such as battery voltage, you know, state of charge of the battery pack, um, you know, current miles per gallon, that sort of thing, and it, it tells us what mode the car is in. So this is helpful for us while we're driving in order to determine you know, how, uh, how, how best to drive. And uh, what See, so you have a... Oh, yeah. And this is, this is the other thing that we did here. Um, this is a little circuit board uh, that basically interfaces with the car using the diagnostic port down here. Um, and the diagnostic port has information such as, you know, the state of charge of the battery. Uh, and what this does is it tells our system when to kick in and parallel and charge the OEM battery. And it also, um, it also confuses the car into thinking that it has more energy than it thinks it has since the OEM car does not know about our extra battery pack. Uh, that was the, the best way. Uh, the, the, the car will actually spoof the car, or the, the board will spoof the car into thinking that it's got more energy. Um, and in doing so, it will actually use more of our electricity than it will uh, under normal circumstances with a regular car. It just plugs into anywhere in your garage. You know, this, is, this is no different than any other kind of plug. The great thing about this is uh, it uses the same amount of electricity uh, that you would use, say, if you had two 100 watt light bulbs on and you left them on for a day. It's the same amount of electricity that you're able to get about 20 miles out of. Kind of the main reason that we did this was to prove that it was possible. You know that if, if two college kids can do this in their parents' garage, that you know, surely multi-billion dollar car companies can do it. You would think. You would think.